When the vehicle is retrofitted with an iPhone cradle, stored music files and telephone data can be accessed through the command or the multifunction steering wheel. A requirement for the retrofitting is the media interface code 518 and the comfort telephony code 386. For the simultaneous use of telephony and audio, you need the telephone cradle, known as the iPhone cradle, which provides for an optimal connection between the first generation iPhone and the head unit of the vehicle. For the new generation, the iPhone 3G, there is a separate cradle with an ejector for the use of the telephone. We'll show you the installation with the first generation iPhone. Here is the cable set to connect the media interface and the iPhone cradle. If the vehicle has an iPod interface, you'll need this set of cables with the network connector RJ45, which is installed directly into the iPod interface. Now a brief overview of the two versions. With vehicles with a retrofitted iPod interface, there is no longer an interface in the glove compartment. Now iPhone and Cradle are attached with a cable directly to the iPod interface. Check the VIS document with the number now on your screen. Our vehicle has a media interface. For the connection of iPhone and vehicle, move the cable from the center armrest to the glove compartment. The plug is then connected with the media interface in the glove compartment. Done with the overview. We begin with the fitting of the iPhone with the media interface. For safety reasons, disconnect the battery from the electrical system. With that done, we start on the driver's side. Some components of the center console must be removed. We begin with the ashtray. Undo two screws and separate the plug connector. The AC operating unit is only clipped. Here four plug connectors must be separated. Open the center armrest and remove the front cover. Then you come to two screws. Undo these in order to get access to the cup holders. Push the cup holder element forward and don't forget to separate the plug connector for the light. In the stowage tray of the center armrest, another screw is hidden under the felt cover. The cradle will be installed here, so unscrew the screw. And lift the stowage tray in order to get to the lighting.
In the tray are two screws which hold the carrier of the cradle. When these are removed, the cable can be led comfortably through the intended opening. But before it comes to that, we still need to do some preparation. First, separate the set of cables with the plug connector in the middle. The cable end, which leads from the glove compartment to the instrument panel, must now be unpinned. For this, use suitable tools. Now tape the cable with cloth tape in order to avoid abrasion. Also tape the other cable with cloth tape. Add the plug, remove the housing and the preparations are complete. Now the cable with the plug without the housing is led through the tray of the center armrest. Reinstall the screws back in the tray. Then lead the cable through the frame tunnel as close as possible to the right air duct and into the radio slot. Now bring the second cable with the free end from the glove compartment into the radio slot. The end which remains in the glove compartment connects with the media interface. Now pin the two cables together in the radio slot. In order to avoid rattling noises, fix the cable to the frame tunnel using a cable strap. For this, there are self-adhesive holding devices, which you can order from the number on your screen. The installation takes place as usual in the reverse order.